Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where are you supporting kids in our community and sharing questions with Emmy? Hi, Emmy. I'm really excited about this. Um, I think I'm probably more excited than you. Okay. Well, my brothers are probably more excited than either of us. Well, you are pretty famous. I, I was watching a bunch of your interviews and they're really cool. You're really you're you're such a good interviewer. Can I go get my brothers? They she wants to, to they really want to see what the trusty narrator looks like. Sure. Okay, they're here. Roll after this. Okay, boys, come say hello. Hi, Hi is- Smarty Pants. Hey, Hi. come here, Elliot. He Hi. can't see you. He can't see. <laughs> this is a tiny <laughs> Hi, is that Elliot? Yeah, Elliot likes to stay on one of your episodes for several days. So we have been learning all about acupuncture. Oh, cool. So Smarty Pants, are, are you are you expert in acupuncture now? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being Smarty fans. We love it. Go run in the other thank room. Thank you, Mike. The anxiety podcast. You ready? I am. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. Today I'm talking with Jerry Colbert, aka Trusty Narrator. He is the co-founder of Atomic Entertainment and the showrunner of National Geographic Spring Games. In our in our house, we know him best as the trusty narrator from the podcast he co-created, Who's Smarted. We love listening to your podcast. Thank you so much for talking with me today, Jerry. You are so welcome, Emmy. I'm I'm so excited to be here. You are such a good interviewer. I've been watching your show, and you're you're better than most adults, to be honest. I love it. Thank you. Do you want me to call you trusted narrator? Sure. Okay. Um, question number one: What gave you the idea to start the podcast? Who smarted? So when I was a kid, I was really into science and learning about the world. And I always, you know, growing up, I wish there had been a show that would be easy to listen to for for everybody and to help kids get really excited about science and curiosity. And so we decided to make Who Smarted after we made a show called Brainchild for Netflix. We thought, well, why can we make it something that's audio that kids can listen to in the car, in school, anywhere, and just help kids everywhere get excited about science and learning and history. And so that's how we created Who Smarted and, and we started making the show for all the smarty pants. We were actually on a road trip and I was like, there's this new podcast you guys could listen to. And at first we thought the name was a little bit funny because of Who Farted, but mm. we started listening to it. It was really good. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of the joke, so I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Question number two. For people who have never listened to Who Smarted, can you explain it to them? So every episode of Who Smarted is about 15 minutes long, and it deals with a different topic from history, a famous person, something about science or space or the human body or how we deal with our emotions. And each one is a different, it's scripted. So we have actors playing parts. And so for instance, if we're talking about something in France or Germany or Spain, we'll actually teleport, we'll go there and we'll learn about the culture along with the history. Or we just did an episode about um, pollution in the ocean, and we invented a talking water bottle who takes us on a journey of what happens to plastic in the ocean so we always come up with fun ways to make uh, all the topics really interesting and funny and that's what you smart it is can you tell me about the company you co-founded atomic entertainment and how it started Sure. So I started Atomic Entertainment with my friend Adam Davis. Um, We actually went to college together, so we'd known each other for a while. And we both wanted to make projects that were going to be educational and fun and impactful for for families. So that's how we started the company, and and that's what we started the company to do. Um, What was it like working with Farrell Willems? So we worked with Pharrell on a couple of different projects. Um, We worked with Pharrell on a show called Brainchild. That's a science show for elementary school kids that's on Netflix. And um, we created that show with him and he's in some of the show and he helped us get that show made. And it was so awesome working with him. And then we also worked on a documentary project with him about a music festival that he did. So we love working with him. He's also really into helping kids learn and get excited and and supporting kids and all those efforts. So it's really fun working with him. Um, When did you begin your career in television? 
I started working in television um, a couple of years after I got out of college. I actually studied theater and film, and then I got offered a job working on um, some TV shows here in, this, in New York City. Um, and one of the first shows I ever worked on was, was a show called Sex in the City, and that was um, a while ago, but that's how I got started, and I've been doing it ever since. I read something that said you were a theater kid like me. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about that? Yes, I always loved doing theater. Ever since I was a little kid, even at home, I would be putting on shows. I know you do the same stuff. So then when, it, when I got old enough where I could actually do theater, I started doing a little acting. I did some technical stuff, like some lighting design and directing. So I started doing exploring all the different things in theater. I just, I love art. I love expression. And um, that's how I got into it. Yeah. When did you know that you wanted to make movies? I knew I wanted to make movies when I went to college. So growing up, I loved movies, but I didn't know anybody who worked in movies. Nobody, and nobody around me worked in, in movies. And so it didn't even occur to me that like you could just learn how to make movies. I thought maybe you had to be born in Los Angeles or something like that. And so when I got to college and I started meeting other people from other places where they didn't grow up around movie making, but who were studying filmmaking. I was like, oh, I, I could do that also. So that's how I got interested in it. And actually, Adam, who I started Atomic with, was one of the first people I met who was who was also studying filmmaking. So that's how I got started. OK, now I have a couple bonus questions. OK, I love bonus questions. You know, I you know, I love quizzes at me. So I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Have you ever been to Idaho where I live and tried our famous potatoes? Uh, no. Can you tell me about these potatoes, please? I, I love, I love potatoes. They are the best potato that you will ever get in the whole world. They are okay. amazing. And have you been to Idaho? I don't think I've ever been to Idaho. Well, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I will come visit Idaho. You what's your, what's your, what's that? You have an invitation. Thank you. And do you have a, a favorite uh, preparation of the potatoes is it like french fries or mashed potatoes or what's your favorite i like basically all of them okay like okay french fries and i love potato chips and... mm, me too what what's me your too. way to have a potato i i think my favorite way is french fries yeah, yeah i love french fries can't yeah. go wrong with a good french fry no with a good potato a good idaho potato and a good fry mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking about smarty pants after this interview, you you need to come fly to Idaho. Okay, I'll be right there. But don't you have to go to school? Yeah, but by the time you get off the plane, I'll probably be out of school. Okay, you've really thought this through. I love it. You're very organized. All right, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. If not, if not today, maybe another time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's a piece of advice that you can share with me? Um, my favorite piece of advice is to just explore your curiosity. If you want to learn about something research it, ask an adult to help you learn about it. Your brain actually gets better the more that you research and learn about the world. So just keep learning, keep being curious and pay attention in school and pay attention out of school and have fun learning. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you, Emmy. This was awesome. This is like my favorite interview I've ever done. You're like, you're the best interviewer. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, new set of questions and interviews are posted every Thursday. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Love you guys. Bye. Idaho Falls Pediatrics. Why are you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy?